the snowstorm we've had. I've made a few videos already. And here I am. I'm going out again because my brother, who lives on a farm, you know, you've seen maybe some footage of the farming even. I put on here, if you've watched his channel forever. And uh, he calls me up. And he's talked to me numerous, numerous times saying, hey, um, let me uh, borrow your snowblower. Let me borrow your snowblower. I'm like, and this was way before it even was going to snow. First of all, he says it's not going to snow. I told him it's going to snow. Even if it snows half of what they say, it's going to snow. It's going to snow. So anyway, he wasn't prepared for the storm. Let's just say that, okay? Um, he didn't take it serious, I would say. Because a lot of times, guess what? It doesn't snow. Well, you know what? We were overdue for a big, big snowstorm. And we got it. We finally got it this time. So, anyway, what I'm getting at is he didn't think it was going to snow. He's like, no, it's not going to snow. It's not going to snow. And it probably won't even do anything. And uh, so he doesn't have a tractor with a blade. You know, he's got farm equipment. But for some reason, the tractor and the blade is at my dad's. Uh, his dad's not where it should be which is like basically at his house and he had plenty of time to get it but uh, he didn't he chose not to and uh, he actually had to have someone help him get his driveway open and now this wind has turned around to the south so now it's drifted into the south when are you gonna uh, why don't you come help me with uh, my driveway and bring your snowblower and uh, I'm like oh my goodness fine I'll just come up there so now here I'm going to try to help somebody get his driveway open right? because he's afraid if he drives through he's going to get stuck. I'll probably get stuck because I don't have four-wheel drive. I don't know if a lot of you have seen my truck. It looks like it's four-wheel drive. It's not. It's two-wheel drive. I really don't need four-wheel drive. I mean, I've gotten stuck um, actually earlier this year, but that was the ground was soft as could be and I got over too far when it snowed and my truck just sank. And that was my own fault. And thank you, Kevin James, if you're watching this, for pulling me out on that one. But really, I don't have that much need for four-wheel drive. There's maybe once or twice a year where it would be really handy. But where we live here, we don't have that much snow. I don't go off-roading, so I really just don't need it. But anyway, I'm going up to my brother's, going to uh, see about getting this drift open that he says that's not that bad I told him to use a shovel but uh, now he wants his little brother to take care of it for him you know kind of like uh, olden times when we were kids and he makes me uh, do everything for him all right well anyway do I sound bitter hopefully not okay give me a chance to put this Honda to the test again and uh, get a little footage here so anyway stay tuned for the footage Yeah, maybe he'll learn his lesson next time he'll have that tractor ready. We're going to have to call for backup, I think, on this one. This is way too much. This is really drifting bad. That Honda's shoving it through there, but it's too long. Um, this is gonna be a short video, probably. Look how deep that is. It'd be one thing if it's snow, but it's drifted and it's hard. I don't think we're gonna be able to get this open. I have to call in for backup, probably. All right, well, that's how it goes. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. All right. Thanks for watching. All right, we made a little bit of progress here. Here's my truck, and here's how far. So like another truck length, basically. That stuff is just rock hard. Blew it out of the south. He's not prepared for it. Snowblower, this is the biggest test it's ever had, for sure. Hey, it's getting down to the gravel, probably ruining all my new paddles. Oh well, what am I supposed to do? Help my brother out, you know, that's just how it goes. All right, Brian, what do you think? Huh? Okay, we're back. Luckily, my phone survived the snow. He better be wrong. He tries telling me there's a 
winter storm Elsa coming now, February 19th. I said, we already had Landon, we're not going back in the alphabet. He says, no, but it's because it's a female name, we're only to the E. I sure hope he's wrong, and he better hope he's wrong, too. All right, well, that's the end of the footage for now. Uh, he's going to have to have somebody come get this. This driveway's too long. Snow's too hard. He's, my snowblower ain't going to handle this. All right, guys. This was a good test, though, for this thing right here, this Honda HS720. It did at least make it through this, but uh, the problem is when you're pushing on gravel driveway and he's getting it down in the grocks, he's tearing my snowblower up. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, this is farther along in his driveway. And look at this. These drifts are so hard. I'm not sinking down, barely just a couple of inches. Okay. I weigh 180 pounds. I mean, this stuff's rock hard. Look, I wanted this bed, this one here. Well, I probably won't even sink through this. See ya, Brian. You have a good day. Well, never mind. I take back that I'm sinking through. This that blew off right here, that was ridiculous. Alright, I'm out now for the last time. Talk to you guys later. Have a good one. It's been Jeffrey at Keith Lock here.